Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I know it's been a while since I've done a video, and I did this quite a while ago, but I just got kind of sick and haven't been able to get around to it. So here is my modification video of my Sofern IF30. And what I'm gonna do is remove all the LEDs from each MCPCB and replace it with new ones. So I've got it taken apart, cut the leads off. Now I'm going to take the MCPCB off. You can see all the thermal grease. I got to clean that off the back um, and make sure and, and do a really good job when you clean it off. If you're going to attempt this, got it cleaned up, got it on the heat, heat pad, and I'm going to start to warm them up. So I heat the LEDs up to about 180 to 200 degrees Celsius when I do this. And that makes it warm enough to get them off. So now I have the LEDs off. Got all the solder, the old solder off. And the L50 is on. All right, so LEDs are off. All the old solder is off. And I use a copper wick to get that off. It's, it's just a good practice to make. Get the old solder off and remember to use new solder on your joints. Put new solder on each joint. There's an old L50 high. I was thinking about using that one. All right, so here is the center LED. It's a 3000 KL50. And I'm gonna show you how uh, solder paste turns into solder. Like, as it's heating up, it, it gets softer. And then once it reaches temperature around 183 degrees Celsius, that's what it says per spec, it'll turn into solder. And it's got like almost a magnetic effect on it where the solder like sucks underneath. There it goes. You can see the little balls on the side. And once this happens, I make sure the LED is lined up and then I tap the top and get the old balls out of the way. Now I need to make sure my polarity is correct. I use an LED backlit tester for this. It's good. So here, got all the little LEDs on. And before you do this, you want to make sure the polarity is correct. Positive, negatives on each side. Otherwise, you will spend a lot of time tinkering with the LEDs and you can mess them up. So I recommend always double checking. I mean, triple check if you really need to because it'll save you time in the end. It really will. All right, so there's three sets of leads that power this MCPCB. So right here, these two leads power these four LEDs. And then we move on to this set. Make sure those four work. Positive and negative power these LEDs. And then the last set. Make sure all four of them work. So they all work. We can hook it back together. I'll de-dome these 519s. And we'll see how it looks. But yeah, just really important to remember you know, when you go to test, you're only gonna be able to light up four at a time. And at first I, I didn't realize this, but luckily I kind of went back over my work and tried it this way, as I knew that I had the polarity of all the LEDs correct, and then they all worked. But 
they're powered by certain leads. All right, let's get this back together. So I figured while I have this set up, I can kind of show you how to dedome an itchia as well, as it's it's really simple. Um, luckily, they're pretty sturdy LEDs, and you really just need to get the, the bubble off. So I've seen people do it all sorts of ways. Um, it really doesn't seem to matter too much. You can just kind of cut them off. So I just cut them off, make sure, uh, you know, the phosphor is clean with a razor blade. It doesn't matter if you lose some of the ceramic usually what's going to happen. The main thing is the phosphor. You don't want to ruin that. And I'm showing a, a couple different ways of doing this. This is definitely not a good way like this, but honestly, it works just fine. <laughs> In the end, you know, I'm just literally cutting them off. I've seen people, they use Q-tips and you can just push it off, boom, pushed right off. That's probably the easiest way, probably the best route to go. Just push it off. Quickest. But you wanna make sure um, that your LED is secure to your MCPCB. All right, so pushing them off, like when we look at that, it's pretty clean, right? <laughs> but in the end, after this is all said and done, I'll go back through with a microscope and make sure and get all the crap off. But yeah, it just, you'll see like weird angles on your, on your ceramic around the edge of the LED, but that's really not a big deal. Um, it's not what you need to worry about. You need to worry about the phosphor, the orange part. <laughs> All right, I hope this helped. All right, got the MCPCBs back in. Screwed back in, solder joints back together, ready to test. All right, so now it's time to check, make sure everything works. Lock it. Center light works. Floodlight work. Only floodlights work. Adjust up and down. Adjust up and down. Center LED. All right. We have power. It's working. Let's put it together. See how it looks. All right, so you can see, see that solder joint, see how high it is and how it's rubbed the silicone. Or these ones are more flat, you know, I didn't even think about that. But when I put it back together, that's what I think is causing the problem. Because when, <clears throat> when I have it all apart, it works just fine. You know, everything works fine. Um, it's just, I think it's that joint, so I'm going to redo all these, <coughs> make sure they're all good, and try and put it back together. <coughs> so I readjusted the solder joint sizes and I was able to get it back together. Here's what it looks like. Now, let's get some drone shots. All right, so I finally added a drone that can record video to my repertoire. Here we're seeing an overhead view. It's kind of tough because I'm in my parents' backyard. So I just wanted to get this video out. That's why I kind of have um, limited, limited recording currently, but um, potentially in the future, I may add some better videos. And here's a different angle, but you can 
tell that it's hitting like or homes roofs that are like you can see them in the background you can see that sft40 throwing a lot of light out up to a quarter mile but overall it was a very fun modification for me um, thank you all for watching please subscribe and i'll be putting out new videos from now on thanks